in the gesture, it, it was so interesting that I had done many small sketches showing uh, it was like a, a, a person walking up this ladder, climbing the ladder and opening the windows to look out. And eventually I decided it would be a fool because it, it's the idea that what the world holds foolish, God chooses usually the paradox of, 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 our, of our beliefs is that there's so many paradoxes and that the fool in, in a essence is someone that may have greater wisdom. And you see that in so many uh, points of literature and in, uh, in folk tales that the fool is the one that usually brings the wisdom to and, and solves, helps solve the problem. Uh, this, was, in a way, has a parallel with the dream of Jacob. And it's th this mystical idea that, that, the, that the fool has climbed this ladder, but everyone underneath is sleeping. The idea of paradox and mystery and, and some type of um, unknown, there's a question, and, and then how do we find that answer? I, I like the gesture to me, and it's very dark. And the way I did it, it's a lot like a pontilus would draw. When you look at it closely, it's a, much a, like the like George Seurat, the, the famous um, impressionist that did pontilism. The uh, early drawings for the gesture were really um, just thoughts. Well, what would I do? And I have just here a man climbs a ladder to reach up to the stars. So that it's very crude. I mean, it, there's nothing really refined. It's almost like an idea, and I just drew it quickly. These very modest um, drawings, I'd keep doing them over and over again just so that it would keep staying on in my imagination. This one says the clown opens the window at night. This would have been 1988. So this is a more finished drawing, but it, I, I kept developing the idea. So it, it takes a long time. It's not like one has an idea and they do it real quickly. For me, it seems like the process takes me much longer and uh, many years to kind of get it where it, it feels comfortable and ready to put on paper. And then this is the final work. The actual little painting that I based it on was just a small uh, nine by 10 uh, watercolor. So I had to try to uh, rework it into this grander work. And, it's, and where in the watercolor, it would have been like washes of color. Uh, in the silk screen, I did it like a, a stippling with a random stippling and also a stars and little dots to create a gradation. Now, I had all this paper on the side of the margin, so I decided to put a border. And in the border, I decided to, uh, originally I was just gonna put blue and then I, I thought, well, I'll put the constellations, but instead of using the traditional constellations, I use circus. If you look very closely, you can see like here, the clowns are waiting to get into the arena and they are part of the imagery of the stars. Then moving up here, clowns that are balancing each other. So the idea of balance is a wonderful metaphor. And then here's another clown with a juggling, and then another clown climbing a ladder and balancing himself. And at the top is the, the beautiful metaphor of the flying trapeze, where um, the person has to have complete trust, and, he, and they throw themselves out to know that they will be caught or they will catch the swinging uh, bar there.